It's a Bruce and Zara and Holmes, and we are gonna be right into the new I One's Out movie. Um, I said I One's Out movie. New I One's Out video. My thoughts on reality shifting. Now, believing this is gonna be talking about like reality shifting, so basically, um, if this is happening in the current reality, I'm guessing the opposite will happen in that reality, or you know, basically that, or you know, parallel like uh, universe dimensions. Uh, all that i'm guessing james is gonna be talking about that when he's talking about reality shifting considering that's what i always think when people say reality shifting but i could be wrong it could be some type of other type of reality shifting i'm probably thinking something else and yeah so anyways hope you guys enjoy the video please subscribe to the bell and know if i win i upload a new video because do it if you guys want me to rat to an old i went out video please tell me in the comments because i'll rat to some old ones if you guys want me to so yeah don't forget to check out the social media, like always, the Twitter, Instagram, Discord, yeah, the social media. I just said social media, I met the sponsor, Rogue Energy, like always. Since, let's get to the video in 3, 2, 1, we are back ready and cheese. I understand that there are things that I don't understand. For example, theoretical physics, or how to make friends. But I do know that the world is not flat, that vaccines work, and listening to people tell me otherwise is admittedly a guilty pleasure of mine. Whether it's conspiracy theories or horoscopes, I love watching people pour their heart into something they genuinely believe in, only for me to go, I disagree. But please, continue. There are some beliefs that I don't agree with, but are absolutely fine to believe in. Like, thinking bucket hats look good on someone. But I think we can all- Just an opinion, but bucket hats do not look good on anyone. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be straight up here. It, it doesn't look good on- on, on no one. What the hell? What the- Why was there a picture blurred right there when he just says racism? thinking and to notice the red flags and dangerous beliefs. So what am I talking about? I unfortunately fell down a rabbit hole and discovered a community of mostly kids on a phone application called TikTok doing something called reality shifting. The way you just spelled it is is that of a K at C. Cuz I know C and K make the same noise but still. And they have their own acronyms. O M Reality shifting stems from the belief in parallel universes, which I got Okay, yep. Yep, it's gonna be that type of video. Alright, alright. You say that Schrodinger's cat is both alive and dead, but cats have nine lives. So are 4.5 cats dead? How is a cat half dead? Either way, someone supposedly very smart has said that every decision you've ever made has caused the universe to copy itself and create a new reality where you made the different decision. I had cereal for breakfast this morning, but somewhere there's a reality where I ate my hamster for breakfast. Because it says hamster chow. Universe every time I scratch my butt, and somewhere there's a James with better manners. Who just twerks it on the tree? <laughs> people making decisions every day, plus the decisions made by like dogs and jellyfish, right? Those count, I think. And we get roughly infinity total realities. If you've seen that in game, you know what I'm talking about. Never seen that. Community says that since there are infinite realities, then there's a reality where GameStop stock is incredibly low, or that COVID didn't happen. Or, or gaming never ma made pop was never made popular. Where Hogwarts is real, and a messenger owl just dropped off your acceptance letter. And through the right meditation, you can transfer your consciousness from your current reality, your CR for short, to your Hogwarts desired reality, your DR. And for some gosh darn reason, Hogwarts is the number one shiftable destination location. But obviously it's not just Hogwarts, any fictional universe is fair game. You could go to the Hunger Games or Lord of the Rings. I'm not sure why though, a lot of bad things happen there. And since all I sadly never watched Lord of the Rings either. Anime realities are shiftable destinations. I mean, who doesn't want to go to anime? That's why I got so weak. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Just 24 drawings a second. So because there are allegedly infinite realities, people will write down what they want their desired reality to be, and this is called a script. It's funny, you know? I want to be the coolest Power Ranger who we even want! No, I'm just kidding. I, I like Power Rangers. <laughs> that what they write down will be 100% real. And you can make a script of whatever you want. You can say, I want to shift to Hogwarts and be in a relationship with Draco Malfoy. I, I mean, not, not me, this is just an example. <laughs> now listen, you're a smart kid, okay? Hopefully, I don't have to explain to you that that's not how life works. If you believe you can- Damn, James! You have to throw the kid at God. 
what I would say in a different reality, but in this reality, I have a lot of questions. If you can shift your consciousness into a different version of you, what happens to the alternate reality you's consciousness? You're just taking over someone else's body. This other you had a life and a family, unless you're going to a YA fantasy novel, and you just took over their whole body. What if there's a you in an alternate reality that's like, I want to live in a reality where there's a pandemic and I'm sadder, and then they shifted here. Why? Oh. Business. You don't trade. The reality shifting community says that when you shift, you leave behind a clone of yourself. Huh. Hmm. So when you shift, there's someone's consciousness unaccounted for. What about the realities where one of you had waffles for breakfast and the other had pancakes? Both of these yous are pretty much the exact same. So then both of you will want to reality shift to the exact same Harry Potter reality. Do you have to share a body with the other yous that have shifted to the same reality? Are you up some good points i'm not even gonna lie guys hold up i needed to check something real quick i need i just need to check this um this top audio real quick but honestly james is really bring really bringing up a good point i'm not even gonna lie like like if you just change bodies like like does it go to someone else's or no like i'm not even gonna lie james is like really bringing up a good point guys hold up i have to make sure um audio is capturing through your headphones but yeah, James is really bringing up a good point. I'm really liking it so far. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, this is a good as like some of his late, um other videos, but you know, so far I'm actually really enjoying this, and and James is actually bringing up some good good points. I'm not even gonna lie. Telling me that Voldemort and any fictional villain is real? How come half of us didn't get turned to dust when Thanos snapped? If anyone can reality shift, are you telling me there's a chance that Voldemort could download TikTok? And reality shift here if you go to Hogwarts, no but imagine every super villain just did that actually uh, we we would all have been fucked right now <laughs> sure i don't know how parallel universes work but they're parallel so the laws of physics should still be the same right but james i know that reality shifting makes no sense and is impossible but then why do so many people claim to have shifted because they're dreaming shifting or just high, high on something and if you I, I can't say it otherwise I'll get demonetized, but if you if you guys get the wink then yeah. Something about this trend doesn't sit right with me. A lot of reality shifting TikToks were done by kids. And kids, as you know, can get really obsessed in the fandom and do some cringy stuff. Because they'll believe anything fiction and writing themselves on a date with Bakugo, that would be totally fine. Healthy even. I mean, who was? Never mind, never mind. Potter so much that I want to manipulate my dreams to be about him. That would be fine too. But something about actually believing that you're astral projecting into a fictional universe? I don't know. That level of obsession just feels unhealthy, my guy. And also, back off, Bakugo. He's mine. The my guy. <laughs> shifting and actually conspiracy theories as a whole is that they pretend to be based on factual evidence when they're entirely a pseudoscience. You start off with a scientific idea, multiple realities, and then you make up whatever you want and use what the scientists have said about multiple realities as proof. Part the universe, my clone, my other gender. <laughs> your consciousness outside of your body, or that you leave a clone of yourself behind when you reality shift, or that cartoon universes exist. I've seen people in videos say that they've done research on reality shifting, but I feel confident in saying you didn't get a degree in quantum physics. I want you to cite your sources and show me the <laughs> dance right there. He's like, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> These TikToks get impressionable kids to believe in reality shifting in pretty manipulative ways. Because let's be honest, kids will believe anything. When when you're young, you you actually would believe anything. Let's be honest, kids will do that a lot. What if it's real? What if I can shift? You want to find out, do you? I get it. Harry Potter is a cool world. That's why they made a whole theme park about it. Who wouldn't want to drop out of a muggle public school and live in a castle with a bunch of soft British boys? And also magic or whatever. But you need to be- Oh, and no, I actually never watched Harry Potter, actually. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. Flat earthers and anti-vaxxers talk about their beliefs, and these people get their information from non-credible sources, and they end up pushing more fake information online, and it creates this echo chamber that warps their worldview. Echo chamber. Recharge your phone and microwave. And essentially get oh, oh, no. Yeah, works. yeah, he just burned, he just burned his house down. Sakura? Yeesh, I can't 
believe I was so obsessed about a thing, I literally tried to astral project myself across the multiverse. Right yep. Ago, I know oh. <laughs> can suck sometimes. And right <laughs> now, he actually tried to. But like it or not, this is the one reality we get. A lot of things may be out of your control, but according to... There's just one kid who actually just believes James. He's like, all right. And all our choices lead us down different paths. So what you need to do is not give up on this reality for a literal fictitious one, but instead to make choices that will make this current reality your desired reality. Thank you all for coming to my TED Talk. Who wouldn't want to drop out of a... Saying as that was the video, you guys enjoyed the video. Honestly, I really enjoyed that. I'm not even going to lie. James was actually bringing up a lot of good points in that, like, like basically, to make your reality good, you have to actually have to like enjoy it and shit, and, and, and then you know, bring it up. How many realities there are? Like you know, our choices actually make different realities. Like you know, being a boy in a different reality, your girl, you know, uh, you being in an actual cartoon or anime or whatever, or actually like Harry Potter. Even though I never watched that, I just know it's about magic and shit. So like, uh, yeah. But honestly, I really enjoyed that. I made a lot. I really enjoyed this time a lot, and James really brings up a good question. So, guys, if you actually could be in a different reality, what what reality would you be? And please, for the love of God, do not say you would be in a different reality where you're instead of like the gender you are right now, like a boy or a girl, you'll go to a different reality. And when you're like, I don't know, I'm just gonna say, um, a girl, you'll just bend yourself because then kind of get it, kind of. Even though I would probably do that, but still, so. Yeah, guys, tell me in the comments, uh, if you could be in a reality, what reality would you be? And yeah. So, anyways, that was the, the, the video. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Please subscribe with the bell on notice if I win. I upload a new video. Comment when we're out to next. So, anyways, that was the video. I'll see you rest us later. Bye. A uh, peace. It's the beginning. We already winning. We ripping like Jack. So, you know that we killing. The flow is so cold. The bone is chilling. Just give me a minute. I'm feeling real vicious. Malicious versus and destroy competition. The newest addition to walk up and kill is the war of attrition. We break the militia. No need for permission. We never pay a mission. Egg. I'm a big dog. So, I'll take a right